We've called this midterm election the vote for Nashville's future. And less than a year from now, another big piece of that future will be decided when the city elects a new mayor. Indeed, and there's one name that could be on the ballot that you know well. In fact, you've already heard his name once in this newscast. Carly, we're talking about a Waffle House hero, James Shaw Jr. That's right, you know his face, you know his name. He's known for his bravery, not his political career, but that could change in August if James Shaw Jr. follows through and makes a run for that office. He's a Nashville hero and now a national hero. After fighting off the Waffle House gunman, James Shaw Jr. has been on national talk shows, the MTV Movie and TV Awards. He makes appearances at charity events, using his newfound fame for good. It comes from more so my upbringing. Shaw has gone on record saying he plans to run for mayor. Then there was his tweet Monday saying, a better people, a better culture, a better Nashville, hashtag August 2019. Do you know who James Shaw Jr. is? Yes, I do, and what he did was incredible. Shaw has the name recognition. I personally think he's a hero. But is that enough. It's good to have individuals like Mr. Shaw interested in public service, interested in politics. News 4 political analyst Kent Seiler says he would likely need more experience before attaining such a high office. Find somewhere, a board, a commission, you know, run for a council, uh, run for the state legislature. Seiler also points out nothing is impossible and it's clear Shaw does have some support. I think it'd be a good thing. I mean, we need people who have that bravery and that, you know, that strive to help others. So I think it'd be good. I would 100% support that. I definitely agree that you have my vote. Seiler also says running for mayor is expensive. The last Nashville mayoral race cost the candidates millions, so anyone who runs for that office will need to be able to fundraise big time. Tom Tracy. Carly Gordon live for tonight. Carly, thanks.